No, stop, 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 stop. Take out. Hey guys, today's video is all about fitting this doohickey into this doohickey. So we made a quick video just explaining uh, why the Viz internal kit is good. It's basically going to let you pump more fuel in at a higher pressure. Uh, this kit will do 175 bar, more fuel, more air, more boost, more power. Fast, 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 fast. More happy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a vise and you want to put some microfiber towels or some padding, something that's clean. Um, you also want to have a clean environment. I know this doesn't look clean, but it is. I've scrubbed it all down, I've wiped it all down. So in the Viz kit, you'll get a few bolts, which I believe they're for reinstalling the fuel pump back into the car, new bolts are always good. You'll also get a new O-ring, which because we're gonna be taking apart the fuel pump. So you're gonna need a variety of tools for this uh, installation. We need to get this sensor off. There's either the frost sensor or the N276 valve. I just grabbed these pliers, uh, got it nice and tight on there because I don't have the correct spanner size, and then just gave it a few hits upwards and it's loosened it. I had to mount it uh, the incorrect way so the piston is actually facing forward. So now what you want to do, just get it out of the vise, nice and carefully. Have the piston facing up and the, uh, the holes where the fuel line and the fuel valve uh, go in. Sorry if I'm using the wrong terminology. Gloves on. So you want to gently pull on the spring and the piston upwards and it should come out quite easily. Yeah. So now that's in the up position. So it's out now. So again, put this on a clean cloth. So you want to get your 18 mil deep socket and you want to clean it inside because you don't want any dirt getting in here otherwise it's going to go in your fuel pump and then into your fuel system. You definitely don't want that. So you'll see the 18 mil OEM seal housing. Just pop your deep socket on there and then just loosen it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's gonna be very tight on there. Now take your OEM seal housing, put this on your clean microfiber towel. You wanna to get your clean microfiber towel, this is a brand new one. Just clean your OEM housing, or OEM seal housing. Let's get all of the oil, any debris that's on there. Okay, so you can see that gunk in there. Just gonna give that a quick clean and get it all out. It's looking nice and clean. Obviously there's still some, some in there, but it's not caked on. And you just wanna clean inside there. Do the best you can. So next you wanna get your assembly lube or your multi-purpose oil. So you get your Viz Internals pist uh, piston and the sleeve. Just apply assembly lube uh, or just some oil. Just to, you don't want this. You want this to be a nice smooth motion. It's already coated in some very light uh, oil, but you just wanna to top it up as well. Put some on your finger, you just want to coat this. You just want to coat the piston. Not too much, but just enough. So now you want to get your OEM sleeve and just pop it for a few times just so it can coat the inside of the sleeve. You want to twist it as well, just so it can coat all around. You want to get the piston head like this. Um, on the sleeve, the bottom side, uh, sorry, the smallest hole is on the bottom and the bigger one's at the top. And you just want to feed it in might be a little struggle, just try and make sure that it's straight so you're not scratching anything. Just push it through. So once it's assembled, it should look like that. You want to pop this on the side. If the camera <laughs> shakes, it's the cat. Yeah, the cat's just walking around. So you want to take your fuel pump out of the vise and you want to get your 10 mil deep socket, face it upwards and just pop that in your vise. You got the uh, OEM one, just give, just sort of hold the top, the retainer like that and then just give the spring a tug. Pop that on the side. I know my hand's in the way, but it's that way. There's a little uh, black uh, indentation where it goes up. Just hold it. So it will sort of be like this. So you want it facing down. We just had to tap it a bit harder. This little doohickey popped out on the uh, piston. You see there's a groove. Just slide the piston out of there. Like so. Do you want to get your piston, the OEM sleeve and your OEM spring? Just pop the spring on there, just in place for now. And what you want to do is you want to gently compress this as you pop the retainer and I guess the other part of the retainer on there. So Swati is going to do this because I'm very heavy handed. Instructions are a bit unclear but what I've done is I've pushed the piston slightly back in 
like I just tapped it upwards. Um, the tappet fell off, but because it's off, I could put the retainer on quite easily um, and then put the, what they call the spanner, just for the correct gapping, in place. So now we're just gonna get the tappet and pop it on the top and just tap it down. The tappet, as, you, as they call it, that tiny little piece on the end of the piston, that one, when I removed the fuel pump, that actually popped off. So I made sure to hit it quite hard this time, a few more hits. Um, and it seems to be all good. So you want to have your vice supporting the uh, spanner, as they call it, like this. So just sort of resting on there. Your vice shouldn't be touching any of the other components. It should just be hanging there. Just grab your mallet, just whack it. You should be able to see a line. If you look in your tappet, you should see a line where it was before. That looks about right. I'll insert a quick picture that I took, just because the picture will get the quality a bit better. But you'll be able to see it's in the correct place. Let's try to give it a tug. I'm not actually able, the hole is there, I'm not able to pull it through the hole. You'd rather test it and it fall apart now rather than in your car. Just want to push it through so the piston is in the correct place. As you can see, spring is all the way coiled to the top. So let's lock it in place. Push the piston while holding the top like this. Hold the top, push the piston and it will just get it right to the top. Just because we're reinstalling, you just want to put a bit more oil and lube on the inside of the sleeve. Pop it back on to your piston. So remember, the wider side goes onto the piston side. Pop it on. We'll move it a little bit, just because you can see the uh, oil and lube. Just move it a little bit. Just spread it nice and evenly. So it should sit nice and snug, like this. Get your fuel pump, OEM sleeve side down. That should fall into place. Put your fuel pump back in your vise. Your 18 mm deep socket, clean it out if you need to again. Problem is, if you look at the Halfords one, it's got a 18 mm hex, but then on the inside there's this circular bit, and that's where the spring retainer actually hits it, so I can't use that, um, because it needs to be hex sort of all the way through, but you can see it's like an 18 mm diameter at the top, and maybe like a 17 mm so it actually just stops there. I have this, it's not ideal, but it works, so it's 18 mm Pop that on there, a bit snug, hand tighten it. It's got a screwdriver just to get some leverage. Just need to install this sensor back on. Just do this hand tight and just screw it on. So I believe the O-ring was actually for the top. You can sort of stretch it on. I believe that's for the fuel pump, but I'm actually gonna keep this as a spare um, because I've done, I've replaced the O-ring about 2,000 miles ago. So I'm actually gonna keep that. But in the kit, you just pull the O-ring over Pop it on, and that's good. Making sure not to cross road it, as I have done in the past. So let's get this back on the car. People, so we have the fuel pump ready now. Um, we've put the high pressure fuel valve back on. Uh, we've installed a new bleed valve, um, because the last one was totally destroyed. This was about seven pound from TPS. So that's all well and good. We need to line up the holes. If it doesn't want to go, pull it back and start again. Okay, so we're gonna open the door now. Pop the key in the ignition. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Take it out. Close the door. Big leak. Hey people, so uh, sorry for cutting off the video before. Uh, we had a major leak. Um, Quite bad. So I believe that one um, with like the brass fitting where my finger is. Yep. I think that is a fuel return, I believe. And in this one, this with one. the banjo bolt and the rubber pipes, I believe that is a fuel inlet. Um, so what happened was, uh, as soon as we switched on the ignition or opened the door, it was just spraying fuel everywhere. I tried to shortcut it because I didn't want to get this clamp off here um, because it was facing that side. So essentially what we had to do is take the whole pump off again, take everything off. Uh, we had to get the fuel pressure valve off again, get this side clamp off. So if you come up a sec, this clamp, you can see I've replaced it with a it's pretty mm. dodgy one. It's a really then, old jubilee. It's a really old one, but it does the job. It seals it nice and tight and it keeps it there. So I've replaced it with that because that's the one. Uh, so we took it off that side, the inlet manifold <laughs> side, um, and then we took everything off, did it properly, took the whole pump inside. Be careful. Inside there, you'll see there's a brass nut. Now what I did is when we took it out, there must have, there's a crush washer, which goes between the brass fitting 
and the fuel pump and then on the inside there's another washer so we actually managed to drop both of them so because of that it wasn't sealing as it should so as a workaround um, because we didn't have the correct washers we've used a rubber grommet or rubber washer on the inside and another rubber washer on the outside so when we're editing i'll point it out um, but we put a rubber washer that one and we put one on the inside it. and that's held it tight uh, what i done obviously as you saw is replaced the clamp as well because uh, these are hard lines um, and you don't want to snap them or bend them or anything like that as per the instructions on uh, this motorsport we primed it a few times it was all good no leaks um, we then switched the engine on that's dead let it idle for about four to five minutes it says five minutes and then I revved it at 1500 RPM and kept it there for a minute. Then after that, 2500 RPM, left it for a minute. There were no leaks at all. What time is it? Started this at like 2 PM. Yep, 10.43. 10.43 now. It's intercooler all over again. We, we took a break for dinner <coughs> though. One thing I am wary of, the, um, the tappet, as, you, as they call it, that tiny little piece on the end of the piston, that one, when I removed the fuel pump, like when we were taking it all apart and fixing it, that actually popped off. So I made sure to hit it quite hard this time, a few more hits, um, and it seems to be all good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our next videos. Don't forget to check out the whole playlist of the stuff we've done so far. We have nearly 20 videos on this car. If you guys are- All modifications. Yeah, so. and if you guys are interested in figuring out why we went for Viz Motorsport, then we've done a video on that as well. Yeah. So. so check out all those videos. Uh, if you guys want to see anything, let us know. So Don't we can... forget to subscribe so you can see yes. all of this, otherwise so that... this is content you're going to miss. And now that we're ready for stage 2+, plus, I mean, track day is coming soon. We've got a few of our mates uh, that are up for it. If anyone wants to come along, we're going to be going to Brands Hatch Indie Circuit. Probably an evening uh, circuit. And the more of us there are, the more garage space you get and the bigger discount. So we'll probably yeah, be looking... Yeah, feel free to get in touch with us on um, yeah, yeah, drop social us a media, Facebook, you know. Facebook, Instagram, anything. We yeah, all want to yeah. chat. Keep up to date with us. Reach out to us on social media. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Bless you. you.